What's up skaters? Today we're going to be doing a first in a series of unique trick tip tutorials for 2024. Now these are going to be tricks that are almost certain to get your boys on letters in games of skate for those that are more of the competitive nature. This one that we're doing first is called the bubble shove it. A lot of people call it the bubble flip but the board doesn't even flip in this one and I've got a variation in a future video more suiting to the name bubble flip. But the bubble shove it is a nice easy chill one to get us started with so with all that being said let's get straight into how it works. Right so for this one basically what you're going to do is it doesn't require any pop whatsoever. This is kind of why we call Call it the bubble because bubbles pop this one it doesn't don't know why that makes sense that's just what i'm telling myself in my head <laughs> anyway so the bubble shove it is it not like a normal shove it so for your normal shove it it's just something like that and the board spins at 180 degrees and you catch it but you already knew that the bubble shove it is a very similar trick but we don't use the tail at all what we actually do is we have one foot by the front bolts and the other foot almost just by the nearest bolts to you on the back end and then you pull the board back with that foot like this and then bring it over like that so you kind of complete the shove it without ever having to scoop the board from the tail so in its fullest form should look something like this like i said at the start you pull the board back towards you and then scoop it over but there's a bit more to it than that so let's get into that i'm going to go over is the foot position now this one is very unique to this trick you wouldn't want to do this for many other tricks but you're going to put your front foot around the front bolts maybe cover the first two front bolts but not quite as far up as to be aligned with the wheel so we're gonna have our front foot here just so we can jump and get this foot out of the way without the board hitting it on the way around and then the back foot again super unique to this trick you're gonna have it around the nearest bolt to you so this fourth bolt right here on the corner the one nearest to you you're gonna have your foot just below that one but not quite adjacent to the wheel like same for the front foot so what you're gonna do is as you jump remember to bring this leg up as you jump like this you're going to put the weight onto that foot and the board is going to come and lay back onto your foot like this and then what we do in the air this is all one motion but to break it down we do this first you're going to use this foot and bring it this way so this foot lifts up and brings the board with it and you end up doing something like that so a great way to practice it at the start is just put one foot on the board exactly where i just told you by that last bolt pull it towards you and then lift it up and over and get it like that so one more time pull the board towards you and then lift up and over and that's how you get it to go around now what we've got to focus on next is how we're going to get that front foot out of the way and how we're going to do the jump at the same time so the hardest part of is doing this is probably doing it moving because of the foot position you have to ride in it's not very comfortable for most especially not any beginner skateboarders but you can adapt to it and the sooner you adapt to it the better you'll be of course so we're going to do it stationary at first put that front foot where i told you back foot where i told you and then we're going to jump up and just aim to catch the board on the opposite side like this once we're at this point we're going to go and then we're going to step right back onto it that's the trick broken down into a few slow motion steps now the next step i think would be to have our feet how i just told you same thing again jump up with this foot and pull the board back onto this leg like that but now as we push it over we're going to jump and try land back onto it just like this you might land on the tail a few times but the more you practice it the better you're going to be at getting back onto it and that's a great way to break the trick down so one more time pull it back and then jump back over obviously when you're just jumping on it's quite common to land like this on the tail but as long as you can get all, all four feet i was about to say as long as you can get all four of your inbred feet back on the board you'll be fine and then after you've perfected that stage you should be looking like something like this you might need to jump with it and like follow the board in the air as you jump by that i mean if the board's going this way then jump that way with it just to compensate for the fact that you're not doing it all in one motion okay so now i think our next step would be to try and just get it to do the whole flip in one motion so instead of pausing once we get here we're going to try and get it to go all the way around not fully commit to it yet but we're going to try and get it all the way around at once like this practice that step by step and that is essentially the entire trick in one go there watch a couple slow-mos of this because this one is going to take you a while to get down but remember jump pull this leg up pull this one back and then pull it straight over that way like this i would actually say this is harder to do than just trying the trick in that's fit in the first place because the board doesn't stay underneath you when you do this but that's essentially what it is right there if you could even practice it with one foot just like pull the ball back and push it over the faster you do it the better it's going to be so back and over back and over just like that practice this as many times as you need to 
because the better you get at it, the easier it's going to be to land it in the first place. Okay, now that we've gotten this far, I think we're ready to try and commit to the board. So the plan now is going to be do it stationary because it's the easiest, safest way to do so. You can either put your board next to the grass and do it into the grass or try something like skate trainers or soft trucks if you need to. But the majority of people will just be trying it stationary. Feet exactly how I told you at the start. And now as we jump, we're going to do the whole back motion at once. You'll get a few 90 degree ones just like that. And the better you get at pulling the foot back and kicking it round, remember the board's got to go this way. As soon as you get used to that, you should end up with something like this. A sketchy version of it. Saying that like I meant to do it sketchy. All right, we're going to jump for it all in one motion now. And like I said, the faster you get it, the easier it whips around. And once you've practiced it enough, you should be able to get a nice clean one just like this. I mean, it's still slightly underturned, which is fairly common. When you're doing it moving, though, it becomes much easier to get it all the way around because the momentum of the board moving helps it get all the way. And it's also pretty common to land pretty nose heavy just because of the nature of the trick. It's similar to an impossible in that way. And the more oomph you put in the back leg, the better off you're going to be. 